Hello, let's solve this question on circles, codes, and tangents, KCC 2010, paper 2, question number 24. In the figure below, a P, Q, R, and S are points on the circle, center O, P, R, T, and U, S, T, V are straight lines. Line U, S, T, V is a tangent to the circle at S. Angle R, S, T is equals to 50 degrees, and angle R, T, V is equals to 150 degrees. So there is the figure with all those angles indicated. Questions, calculate the size of one angle O, R, S. 2 max, 2, angle USP, 1 max, and uh, we have part 3, angle PQR, 2 max. Then there's uh, another part, part B. Given that RT is equals to 7 centimeters and ST is equals to 9 centimeters, calculate to three significant figures. 1, the length of line PR, 2 max, 2, the radius of the circle, 3 max. So let's go to the first part of the question where you require to calculate the size of angle ORS. ORS, we'll begin with uh, the first one. ORS. So let us identify ORS first. ORS is this angle that is here. That is the angle ORS. So what you can do, the best way is to fill all the angles that you can manage to fill this figure using all the angle properties that you know. Uh, for example, we have this angle as 150 degrees. This one is a straight line. The sum of angles on a straight line add up to 180. So this will be 30. That will be 30 degrees. Then we have this triangle RST. Uh, we have 50 degrees. We have 30 degrees. The sum of angles in a triangle as should be 180. So this one 50 plus 30, that is 80. So what is remaining to make 180? So this one will be 100 degrees. 100 degrees. Then there's another property that you need to understand. Uh, this is a tangent. UST is a tangent and we have uh, the tangent radius property. The tangent and the radius meet at 90 degrees. So we have OS. OS is the radius. Then uh, UST is a tangent. So meaning angle OST should be 90 degrees. So if this is 50, then what is remaining to make that angle OST uh, be 90 will be 40 degrees. Then look at this triangle that is here. OSR. O SR OS is equal to OR since the two are ready. OR is the radius of the circle. OS is the radius, they are equal. So this forms an isosceles triangle. OSR forms an isosceles triangle of which the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So if this is 40, then this one is 40. Then in that triangle again, we use the property, the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we have 40, 40. So what is remaining here? That is 80. This will be 100 degrees. The next angle that you can be able to get I want you to look at this chord, uh, SR, it subtends 100 degrees at the center of the circle. And you know this property, the angle subtended at the center of the circle by a chord is twice the angle subtended at the circumference by the same chord. So chord SR subtends 100 degrees at the center and also chord SR subtends angle S. P R at the circumference. So this angle at the center here should be twice the angle subtended at the circumference. And the angle subtended at the circumference is S P R. So this is 100. So this one should be 50 degrees because this uh, the center here should be twice. Then once we get that, this is still another angle that you can get. P R T. You can see this. Eh? P R T is a straight line. So we have these angles that are here. We have these angles that are here. These are 100. This is 40. So the angle that remains here on this straight line, the sum of angles on a straight line. So 100 plus 40, 140. So 40 is the one that is remaining to make that uh, 180. Then there is something else I'll add here, which is uh, also very useful. I'll draw a circle here. And uh, if we are given, we have a chord, then you have the angle at the center here. It's a very important property. So there is this angle, and we call this angle A and this one I'll call this angle B and then I'll call this angle C. This one is also very important property. Uh, you have this chord here you can call this chord X, Y and then this one you can call it P. So chord X, Y subtends um, an angle here the center. So this angle the property I want to come directly to is this. If we have uh, an angle subtended at the center here by a chord like X, Y and it subtends uh, an angle X, P, Y the circumference then when you take A plus B when you take angle A plus B, that should give angle C. If you take angle A plus B, it should give angle C. So look at this uh, diagram here. When you look at this angle that is here, 40 plus uh, this angle that is here, this should add up to 50. So if this is a 40, then this one should be 10 degrees. Since this angle here, angle P S O plus angle P R O should give 50. That is uh, 10 plus 40, get 50. So that was another property which is very important. Now let's see whether we have obtained our, our solution. Uh, we obtained angle ORS. 
so ors o r s is 40 degrees so that one is there we identified there we are not supposed to give any reason in case you are required to give a reason could have given it so that angle is 40 then the other one is angle usp usp so angle usp usp this is the angle that is here we need to get this angle so usp so when you look at that angle uh, these are tangent here uh ust is a tangent then look at this triangle that is here psr so angle so angle usp is equals to angle prs prs R S Y. These are angles in the alternate segment. Angles in the alternate alternate segment. So therefore, look at angle P R S. P R S adds up to 40 plus 40. That is 80. So therefore, this angle should be 80 as well. So that property that we have used there is angles in the alternate segment. So this is 80 degrees. Then the other one is P Q R. P Q R is the next angle that you need to get. PQR. So let's go to the diagram then. PQR. PQR. So we have this angle to get this angle that is here. So when you look at um, that angle, uh, we can use the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. So I want you to consider this quadrilateral. PSR. That is referred to as a cyclic quadrilateral. Don't you know about that? Which property do you get from that? Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral should add up to 180 therefore this angle p s r is opposite to p q r so when you look at uh, p s r p s r is 10 plus 40 that is 50 so 50 plus x should give us 180 so if this one is 50 then to get the other angle there just need to take 180 minus 50 that one will give us 130 degrees and the property we have used there is opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral should add up to 180 p s r is a 50 it is opposite to p q r so this one is 180 30 degrees so that when you add these plus this the whole this angle you get 180 so that is all about that part let's go to the other part so now the other part the question is, is uh part b given that rt is equals to 7 rt is equals to 7 and st is equals to 9 mm, calculate three significant figures the length of line pr PR. let's go to the diagram so we can fill them here so given that rt is equals to 7 rt rt is here this is a uh, 7 centimeters and then uh, st is 9 st st is 9 centimeters you're supposed to calculate pr pr so when you look at uh, those lines uh ust is a tangent then pt is a second so we're going to use the the tangent second property the tangent second property i'm going to just indicate it here this is how i'll just use this space that is here tangent second property this is how it states and when i take uh, tp multiply by tr i should get s T squared. Repeat. So T uh, T P T P multiply by T R should give me S T squared. So T P is what? T P is all the way from this seven plus with seven plus P R. So T P is seven plus T R. That. Then you multiply this on by T R. We should get S T squared. S T squared like that. So we can let our P R to be X. So this is a seven plus X. Then T R T R is seven is equals to S T. S T is a uh, 9, 9 squared will be 81. So multiply this, will get 49 plus 7x is equals to 81. So 49, this will be 7x is equals to, you just uh, subtract that. This is uh, 81 minus 29. You get that 2. As to divide both sides by 7, you get uh, 4.5, 4 uh, 4.571 centimeters. So that is uh, the length. And remember, x was PR. So PR, so that is uh, PR short pr is equals to 4.7 4 4.571 so we've got that so part b is uh, the radius of the circle the radius of the circle the radius of the circle so now to get the radius of the circle uh, there is something that we are going to use uh, just look at this uh, triangle i will extract this triangle i will extract it uh, that is a uh, triangle PSR, PSR, and uh, note the angles uh, that we have. We have uh, the angle at P is 50, then this angle here is 80, and then uh, this angle here is 50. So then we also have uh, PR, PR is, we've obtained that as a 4.5, we've just calculated that, 4.571. So I will extract that triangle, uh, so PR, S, that is what I'm going to use, and uh, I'll show you how we get the radius of the circle using that. So let me extract it. So the triangle 
as I've said, I'll extract it like this. So, so angle P is here, then S is here, then R had indicated the angles that was a 50 degrees, and this one was 50 degrees, and then this one was 80 degrees. Then PR is just calculated in the previous question, and you got that one is a 4.571 centimeters now we need to get the radius remember the radius is uh, somewhere there the center there so the radius is somewhere there so to get the radius we use the sine rule we use the sine rule and this is uh, how we are going to get to use the sine rule to get that so this side that is uh, opposite p or so this is a small p then this one is opposite r that is r then this one or the s so the sine rule goes like this eh? so r over sine r is equals to uh, p over sine p is equals to uh, s over sin s is equals to 2 radius 2 r 2 r so we just need to look at this where we have everything given r sin r we don't have r so we can't use that so do we have p uh, we can't have that so we can go with this we can pick this since we have um, s s is uh, 4.571 divided by sin s sin s s is here so this will be sine of 50 should give 2 radians so that is uh, simply what you're supposed to do so we divide 4.5 or 4.571 divided by seven by just confirm something here there's a 4.4.571 divided by sine 50 so you get 5.9 this one gives 5.967 is equals to 2 radius so to get radius we simply divide every thing by two both sides by two so 5.9 divided by two we get 2.9 so that is the radius of the circle as simple as that so the first one um, we were required to give uh, for this part we were required to give the length of pr to three significant figures don't forget that three significant figures so let me just confirm what we got just to give it three significant figures so is here we got prs four points so this one is correct to four significant figures so to three significant figures would be 4.57 centimeters and that is how you're supposed to solve that question